Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to share another project with you. So this is my second uh, book in a bag that uh, I have created. So this one is more of a travel theme. Uh, this week on Thursday actually, I will be meeting uh, one of my subscribers. Her name is Jill and Jill was actually like one of my first subscribers way back when and since then we continued talking and you know became friends and she um it what is from uh, canada uh but she now lives in london and um, she's there with her family we keep in touch every once in a while sometimes a little bit of time goes by but we always sort of seem to reconnect and just recently she um, contacted me and said that she was going to be um, coming to um, I believe she's staying in let's just say close to Toronto anyways and um, but then we'll be going uh, about an hour's distance from where I am and so we decided to meet for a quick coffee and I'm, I'm so excited I can't wait to meet her and to catch up a little bit so I thought that um, so by the time I get this recorded and put up she she will already have received this so i i would like to give this to her and um in hopes that she might be able to use it for when she's on her travels here or maybe by the time she gets back i uh, can put some memorabilia into it so i'm just going to take you through it quickly it's much like the other one that i showed on my other video but more just uh themed uh in terms of travel so same kind of thing it's just a uh, canvas bag i haven't gotten around to making a video on how to create your own bag but i will i'm working on it so uh that will be coming up so same kind of thing these are just the bags that i purchased at my dollarama probably you can get them at the dollar tree also um, that's my stamp again i created a pocket at the front i just put some sort of travel themed papers and things that i had I don't remember all the paper pads that I used for any of this because quite frankly everything's just sort of in a drawer and <laughs> and I pulled it out and I, it works so those go in there I attached a little bit of lace on the bottom here uh, there's a doily and I have on a bulb pin I have a little plate here that I think that's Tim Holtz I believe and it says travel on it and then this is a little postcard that I believe I got those at AliExpress, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I think so. So I attached those. And then, like I said on my other one, I just did some stamping all the way around the bag. And then same kind of thing on a bulb pin here. I just attached a little tassel that I made with some odds and ends. If she really wants to, she could remove this whole thing and um, just use these pieces or, or leave it, whatever she wants to do. And then the journal inside. I had a lot of fun making this one. Is um, the, the cover is actually made from a piece of fabric that I got. I got a pile of fabrics from a garage sale. I'm not sure if I showed you guys all that stuff, but this was a really pretty piece. And as soon as I saw it, I immediately thought uh, book cover. And so that's what I wanted to use. I just, I love the creams and, you know, the sort of yellow-ish gold colors with the black. So that's what I chose to use. And then this is some... Um, like cotton fabric that I had that I just tore up and made a tie with. Um, lace trim on the side. There's just a, that was from a paper pad. I just did some stitching, made a little, uh, like um, mounted it on some, uh, sorry, burlap. And this is a doily piece and that's an old button, really beautiful old button that I put on there. And then these are canvas, let's see, canvas embellishments that I got at Michael's. Um, some different ones there. And so I like this one a lot. So I put it up there like a postage stamp. <laughs> I really liked it. And then on the ends of my tie here, I had some of these little butterflies that I attached. 
And then I wrapped it in some like yarn and then I wrapped it in a little bit of wire, uh, gold wire, just to give it some stability and um, just for something different. Uh, this is the first time I've actually done something like that, but I really like the way it looks. I probably will be doing that a little bit more often. And then the centers of the uh, signature, I attached some little beads here to add interest. So we'll just go inside. I just actually wrapped this uh, around the journal. Made a super long tie. <laughs> Okay, and we'll just quickly go through. Um, so just some travel themed papers inside. I put a lot of lines and again, there's a lot of room for journaling and writing and attaching photos. And that's kind of what I wanted for her to have. Um, blank pages, some more lined. It's all coffee stained throughout. Um, ledger paper. Um, this is just like a paper pad that I had and I coffee stained. I got some maps in there. <laughs> this is uh, just a portion of Canada. Um, purchase order forms, some more lines. Um, more lines on there, craft paper, travel themed paper. I just did a little bit of stamping. Uh, there's a coffee stain doily. This is ledger paper that I made into a pocket just with some ephemera inside. Travel themed. Uh, I just put a little tab on that. A little bit of lace. I found these cute little receipts. Um, at Dollar Tree and I really like them because the writing was like really big and so I just uh, grungied it up a little bit. Uh, I sewed it to another piece of paper and then I made a pocket out of it. Uh, so what it looks like if for those of you who have Dollar Tree is this, it's their jot um, stuff and it's called receipt book and there's like 50 receipts inside. Um, they have the yellow part on the back and I kind of left the yellow on the back of this one just for a little bit of stability also but um, I like them because they were just the writing was big and they just look like something I would be able to incorporate into my journals so if anybody's interested in that um, that was from Dollar Tree and uh, it, I thought it came out really cute and then inside that pocket is um, an old envelope and then some travel ephemera, travel themed ephemera. Um, that goes in there. A little bit of lace. There's part of the map of the United States. I made into a pocket and then inside the pocket is just another little book uh, made out of a map. And then I put extra little bits of paper inside. Uh, more lines for journaling, purchase order, that's some um, homemade paper. Um, on this sheet I just attached a cue card with lines, a little piece of travel paper that I had and I made a little paper clip with a flag, a paper flag on it. That. And then here's another pocket just with some more ephemera inside. I believe that's Tim Holtz. I don't know what this is, but I just stapled it to it. Thought it was cute. A uh, little flag with a bicycle on there. Map, more lines. I just used my cart postel stamp on the um, wax paper, or maybe this is parchment paper, that one. Um, some more lines, another little um, flag there, some more uh, travel paper, and then in this pocket I just have an envelope that I made out of map paper and a little piece of ephemera to go inside of it. A doily, 
paper, graph paper, uh, just a stamp there. On this one I attached, I just made a quick paper clip with a piece of lace. Um, this is another travel envelope, or not travel, uh, airmail envelope. And then um, just pieces of ephemera inside. And I just put that on there. And I use the paper clip to hold everything down. Uh, purchase order. And then there's the other pocket, the other side of the map. And inside there, I just made um, a little envelope out of uh, that. I used my envelope punch board just with some travel paper. And that goes in there. Some more lines. Ledger, graph paper, just a stamp there and a little tab and then on the very back cover i uh, it was a little flimsy feeling <laughs> so i just sewed a lace pocket into there and i made another little passport um folder i put a little stamp sticker on there and then i just filled it with um extra paper but uh, I didn't glue them or sew them in I just tied them down with some strings so that they can be removed or have things added to it so that just goes in there and I used a paper clip just to keep it down and that's it so I hope Jill enjoys her journal as much as I had fun making it um, I'm very excited to see her, to meet her. Um, this will be the first time I ever meet <laughs> a subscriber and friend. Uh, so, like I said, I am um, really pleased that she contacted me and that I can uh, meet her here at home. So, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share my journal with you, and or my book in a bag. Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to share with you some beautiful things that I have just recently received. So I had the privilege and the honor of meeting one of my subscribers or somebody who started following me uh, right from the beginning pretty much. Her name is Jill. Um, Jill doesn't have a crafty channel but uh, like I said, always left a beautiful comment. Um, on my videos. We've become friends and uh, sort of got to know each other a little bit. So Jill is from Canada originally um, but moved to England quite some time ago and uh, so we've been sort of cor corresponding back and forth through messenger and email and that sort of thing and so just recently uh well last week the end of last week i had the great joy of finally uh, getting to meet her in person so um jill came here to canada uh, about an hour away from where i live and was staying with some um friends and you know catching up with them and such and reached out to me beforehand and asked if I wanted to meet. I brought her a little something and she spoiled me with so many beautiful things. So I just wanted to share some of that with you and uh, just tell Jill again how truly grateful I am, first of all, to have met you and to have spent a little bit of time with you. We were hoping for a bit more time, but um, things happened and <laughs> so we got a little bit of time. Um, which I was very grateful for. But I just want to say, Jill, that I'm very grateful for your friendship and uh, and for all of this beautiful stuff. So Jill brought me an Edith Holden book. I do see a lot of you using uh, Edith Holden. So I have a question regarding that. So I'm going to guess that most of you have a book or some of you have a book. And what you do, do you... Like, there's no way in heck I am taking this apart. Um, the pages are so thick. Um, 
and they're just beautiful and um, the images in here are stunning so do you scan these pages and then use them in your journals photocopy them uh, like make print um, colored you know prints of them like what do you do I would like to know what you guys are doing with your books because like I said I will not be taking this apart in any way shape or form but I, I would like to use the pages let me know in the comments below if it's scanning that you're doing or just copying the pages or shrinking them down I, I would like to know so that I can use some of these beautiful things like I can't even believe I have this book like that is just like the pictures are incredible the words are incredible the fact that they're like written in by hand I don't know this whole thing just blows me away really <clears throat> uh, Jill I don't even know how you were able to give this away because I would have just totally hoarded it um, yeah so if somebody could answer my question I would be very grateful like could you just I could see that in nature journal you know on tags just beautiful so anyway I've been through this book um, 10 times already since Thursday I absolutely love it so thank you so much for that Jill and then I got another beautiful book this is the British girls annual and I love this one just as much um, this book is 1920 I believe maybe even before that somebody's drawn some pictures okay so 1921 and if you could just first of all smell this book um, the pages are so thick you can hear it's like cardstock um, this beautiful color on them I love it so someone's you know done some drawing in there but again well how would you go about um, being able to use what's in this book because I don't think I have the heart to take it apart like I don't know, you guys need to tell me what it is that you do. Uh, I, I could hoard, you know, I could have stacks of books. If it was up to me, I wouldn't take them apart. But I know, I mean, you can't keep everything. I love it. Anyway. So, thank you so much, Jill, for that. I really, really appreciate it. And then, so while we're on the books, I'll show you one more. This is a music book. Um, not in English. But it's super old. Look at that cover. It's beautiful. I tried to look for a date. Um, it's quite large. And I don't really see. Isn't that beautiful? So, yes. I love it. The color is beautiful. It's nice and big. It's a beautiful book. So again, thank you so much, Jill. I really appreciate that. And then um, she got me some of these really large envelopes. Um, I used to use these once upon a tom time, long time ago, in sort of one of my first office jobs. Um, we used to put like interbranch information and stuff, send them within the company, uh, and then you could just write down what it is. But that's pretty much all I know about that. But I love the color. I've not seen them this light before. Um, and the fact that they close up, I'm just wondering if you know that wouldn't make a nice sort of journal hmm. you have to come up with something for that but love those and she spoiled me with so many and I love them so thank you so much for those uh, what else do we got here this beautiful piece of um, 
paper. Look, I guess it's wallpaper. But I can easily wrap, um, make a cover out of it. And it's so beautiful. Just love it. Such a beautiful blue, too. Really nice. So thank you for that, Jill. And a beautiful piece of fabric. That's lovely. I can make a journal out of that, maybe even two. I really like the colors. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Um, a cash book, which is really neat. So just lined paper. I guess where you write, uh, I don't know if you've written checks or whatnot, but um, so I could use, easily use that inside of a journal. I really like. And then there's like a blank card. Um, so this card is suitable for photographs, needlework, pressed flowers. So it's got a frame, the envelopes in there, and just a really pretty pattern on the front. Thank you so much for that. And then I love, love, love these. Uh, some airmail envelopes. I don't have any this size. I usually get the regular size ones. I love those. The coffee stain them, decorate them. I could probably make little journals um, just by folding them in half. Envelope journals. Mm. I might be able to come up with something with for those, um, but I love those. And look how many she gave me. That's just, yeah. Thank you so much for those. And then these I've never seen before, um, but we have a similar thing like this going on at our schools here in Canada. But these are, look how many, uh, a beautiful purple color. And their school meal, it says school meal service, meals service. And so it just says, um, so kind of like the same thing at our schools. We have pizza day or hot dog day or whatever. And then, so you just let the school know by filling out a paper or in this case, an envelope, um, you know, that your child's name and class and all of that good stuff. And then what days um, you would want your child to have you know the lunch that they've ordered and then enclose the amount there um, so I really like these super cute and these are a really nice size too um, these are four by three and a quarter um, when you have the top closed so I will put those to good use I really really like those a lot and then finally, last but not least, um, she gave me this. <laughs> I love it. Look, oh my gosh. So on Instagram, I have admired mostly, I mean, I've seen a few on YouTube, but I see a lot of people using things like this for when they display their journal or are trying to, you know, make a nice little setting and a display of their work. And sometimes they have these and you know, they've, I don't know, but let's just say for sake of, you know, they'll just, you know, put it like that and use it as a display piece. And I just, I've always admired it and always wondered where uh, everybody was getting them or, you know, or just antique shops or, so I always keep my eyes open for something like this and have never been able to find something. So um, when I actually saw this inside the bag that Jill had um, brought to me, I, I nearly passed out. I just, I couldn't believe it. It's gorgeous and I love it. So again, Jill, thank you so much for thinking of me uh, with all of this beautiful stuff. It will truly be put to good use. Um, it always does. Uh, this book, the books are incredible. I just love them. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, I'm so grateful to have met you. I hope we can meet again sometime. And um, 
I'm grateful for our friendship. So aside from all that, guys, if you can please let me know what it is you, how you uh, copy your pages or if that's what you do or do you just tear your books apart? I don't know. Uh, let me know because I would really like to um, figure it out and get some of those beautiful pages into my journals. So yeah, I'm looking for your input. So let me know down below. Okay, you guys, I hope you're all doing well and we will talk to you real soon. Take care. Thank you, Jill. Bye-bye.